Sierra Carlson and her son Beckett want a new playground in Dickinson, and they already have the spot picked. It is already parkland, so we won't have to fundraise for, for land in addition to the, the playground equipment and surfacing and bathrooms. Sarah's son has a disability, and she says the playgrounds in Dickinson just aren't suitable. It's about 200 miles, a little bit less than that, um, round trip to go to Amanda and to their inclusive playground. Um, that's the nearest playground that really accommodates his needs of wheeled mobility and vision impairment. Even though this local playground in Dickinson is ADA compliant, Sarah and other parents in the community say the playground isn't inclusive to all children with disabilities. The biggest difficulty that we have with playgrounds in Dickinson um, is the surfacing. Um, Beckett utilizes wheeled mobility either through a gait trainer or a wheelchair and so being able to access the equipment really is difficult. The wood chips in some of the playground lots make it difficult for children in wheelchairs, but those with visual impairment also have trouble. For children with vision impairments or depth perception issues, the fact that there's not a full railing on these stairs could cause um, some safety issues and some problems with them tripping trying to get up the steps. Sarah is optimistic about an inclusive playground coming to Dickinson, which she would like to name Friendship Park. But we would really love to break ground fall of 2018 or spring of 2019. We'll know about several of our grants in 2018. So Sarah says about one in five families have someone with a disability, so she hopes the community comes together on this. Steve Kirch, KX News.